We're your weather authority. We warn you first. Good morning, everyone. And the dry and warm pattern continues as roofs by Nika Sky Tracker Midland. We do see it's still dark out there with mostly clear skies and temperature right now 67 degrees. That's what happens when you have clear, calm, and light winds, right? Those temperatures can really drop. But they're going to really ramp up and warm up this afternoon as temperatures will be right around average for this time of year. But I want to give a shout out to Rich Gonzalez. He is our co worker behind the scenes. Who Sent in this photo Friday night of a sunset and a rainbow. You can see that this was outside his home. And Rich, again, thank you for sending that in. And again, I encourage you guys to send in your photos as yours may be featured on air. I do see these very puffy cumulus clouds in the foreground as well. So very cool stuff. As this was when a thunderstorm was departing. I'm not really expecting to see anything like that over the next several days, but that might change as we head later in the weekend and into early next week, we have a really strong high pressure system to our north and east, and that's really steering away the remnants of Henry now off of Cape Cod, the last remnants of rain in Massachusetts and Maine as we speak. This high pressure is steering all of that monsoon moisture into New Mexico, providing mostly clear skies and dry conditions in the basin. But as this high pressure starts to weaken, as we head into this weekend, we could be seeing an increase in humidity and potentially more storms and milder conditions. So that's something we have to keep an eye on. In terms of our 2021 precipitation totals, Big Bend National Park got quite a bit of rain over the last several days, and that's good news. They're now at 15.34 inches of rain, and they are in a moderate drought, so that's certainly good news for them. And all these locations that you do see, Midland, Fort Davis, Odessa, and Carlsbad, are above their year-to-date average precipitation for this year, as Midland is already above their yearly average. Now, for the next several days, I'm not expecting rain, but these totals might start to change and increase as we head into early next week. Not much in the way of cloud cover right now as again, temperatures are pretty cool but they will warm up and there could be some afternoon clouds in the Petroplex but mostly sunny skies. These clouds will be very thin in nature. Any rain possibilities will be in southeast New Mexico. Not be surprised if places like Carlsbad gets a pop-up shower or two with mostly clear skies for later tonight as, again, should be a nice day to go outside. And National Dog Day is coming, and I usually like to walk my neighbor's dog or go on a run. Temperatures will be in the mid-90s with mostly sunny skies. The big story, though, will be those gusty winds as they could be you know, gusting over 30 to 40 miles per hour. Again, temperatures starting off in the upper 60s, warming up though, in the mid-90s. I would not be surprised if parts of the Trans-Pagus gets to the century mark for today. But these temperatures that you do see are very seasonable for this time of year. Overnight low will be around 68 degrees with gusty winds ending early with mostly clear skies. So again, should be a great night for stargazing. And those winds are, again, were gusty yesterday. We had a gust at 25 miles per hour at the Petroplex. Could be seeing very similar conditions today. And that could be the case as we even head into tomorrow. Should be a great pool day, but those temperatures will be a little bit lower, high 93 degrees, but the sunniest day of the week. But as we head later in the week and into the weekend, we do notice that we have a slight increase in cloudiness, still those gusty winds, and then high temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s, and maybe even a chance of thunderstorms as we head into next week.